dramatic lighting, but I think that's a good thing. I think that's what we want for this video. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today on the channel, I want to talk about something that I've been thinking a lot about recently, and that's transitioning as a photographer or as a creative in general, but more specifically for me as a photographer and cinematographer. So if you guys have been following my work at all for the past like eight plus years, I have been known for my concert photography. That's what kind of I started becoming more notable for and working with a lot of different artists and creatives and musicians and, and brands to kind of showcase live music and live concert photography, as well as showcase the behind the scenes of what artists did when they were out on the road, what artists did when they were at award shows, kind of the everyday life Life of an artist and a musician and in their life in photography or videos and it was awesome it's it's one of the best jobs in the entire world and I, I love it and I, I miss it I was out on the road with Green Day about two years ago and I was in a unfortunate accident that has left me kind of unable to continue down that path of being a live music photographer being a concert photographer and a touring photographer fortunately as a live music photographer you have to be running around I was doing like 20,000 steps a day kind of running around the venue and taking photos and documenting the experience of the fan interactions, the live shows, the behind the scenes stuff, getting in and out of uh, airports, getting in and out of uh, transportation, getting in and out of fast moving areas. It was just a very like movement heavy and like on your toes job. And I loved it and I was really good at it. Uh, but unfortunately that accident has left me not being able to be as quick and mobile as I once was. So unfortunately I have had to slowly find a way to switch lanes in the industry and it is really hard and I'm not sure if any of you can relate to this but essentially as a photographer or a creative you are constantly put into these kind of categories of what kind of photographer are you what kind of videographer are you what kind of director are you are you a horror film director an action movie director a sci-fi director are you a portrait photographer a landscape photographer a, a documentary photographer and those categories get very niche down so are you a landscape photographer that documents the arctic are you a landscape photographer that documents buildings and architecture are you a street photographer that does new york are you a street photographer that does chicago there are very specific types of photography and photographers and labels on everything and you have to kind of especially when you're starting out dial down you really have to find the way to be the person at one of these kind of niches and by doing so you start to build momentum you start to gain kind of like a following on social media as well which is another thing we'll talk about but but basically you're you're growing a network based on that specific niche. And that's something that I've learned. Every creative kind of has, every successful creative kind of has that path where they found their thing and they stuck with it and they grinded it out. And that slowly became what they were known for and what, what they're good at. And unfortunately, as you outgrow that thing or your life changes and you become like a different person or you have to switch physically, on, on my case, physically forced to switch into a different lane, um, it's very different because now, even though you have all these connections and network base for one thing and you want to transfer over to the other thing it's very tough because you're not only building a brand new network but you're also having to you're having to learn how to recreate a new style and a new new authenticity to what you want to be doing and that's really tough in in I mean, any industry, but as a creative, it feels almost deafening sometimes because there are so many things being thrown at our face from social media to branding, to marketing, to running a business, to being your own boss. There's so many things that make it really difficult to one, find any lane to work into, and then two, switching lanes as a creative is really difficult. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. So uh, why I'm making this video is because I just wanted to say that I really appreciate everyone watching these YouTube videos because this is a lane that I've been trying to break into or kind of get into more cinematography and directing and being behind the camera, but also in front of it, front facing with these videos, but also being able to document and showcase my life and the things going on in my world a little bit more artistically and, and purposefully. Um, and so that's what I've been really focusing on as a creative right now. And, and two, I wanted to make this video because you're not alone. A lot of people are going through a similar thing right now. There's a lot of transitions happening in every industry from AI capabilities to new people coming into the industry to new brands not working as much with freelancers. And there's just so many different things that are kind of barricading creatives right now into staying in their niche and, and not branching out. But this is my advice to you is to stay true to your purpose and what you want to create and what is cool to you because that will stand out. There are trends and and um, ways to grow on social media and, and algorithms that you can you can stick with and figure out how they work and, and, and kind of hack them a little bit. 
But at the end of the day, no one's gonna remember you for that. They're gonna remember you for your authentic self and your voice and what you wanted to create and what you did create. So whether that's taking more time to create something or being more thoughtful with it, that's not to say you can't do the other things as well, but I just want to make it very clear that you're not alone and that this is definitely a hard transition. For me personally right now, this transition has been kind of eating me alive day in and day out. I am really trying to photograph things that mean a lot to me, but also not trying to sell out what I know will do well on the internet or, or for brands to look at and things like that. So that's kind of why I'm making this video. Just the, the difficulty of transitioning as a creator can be uh, very daunting and stressful. And if you guys have any tips, I would love to hear what what, what success you guys have had in, in transferring from one area of photography or one area of a cre creativity like outlet to something else, because I, I'm struggling a little bit. I am pushing through and I think that might be the, the case is kind of getting rid of that, that fat or burning off the fat of portion that you're like, I can't do that anymore. And I need to kind of focus on something else. So I think that that's really important to, to kind of focus on. And that's what I've been doing is trying to grow like a new thing, like while also using my similar platform. So it's been very hard and difficult, but I'm figuring it out and um, I'm trying. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please, again, let me know what you guys have done to kind of branch out and, and change the path that you're on. Or, or if you've had to change the path you're on, what did you do to, to kind of find success in that? Because that's something that I'm struggling with and I bet a, a lot of other creatives out there are struggling with as well. So I think we all would benefit from having that conversation down below. I greatly appreciate you supporting me in this jump into the YouTube world. I'm really trying to find my rhythm and find videos that I like making and things that are true to myself. So thank you for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.